Okay. This is very random. Not what I'm used to. Excuse the scarf. Okay. But I got to get this message to y'all. It, it just came on me. It just came to my spirit. So I'm doing some work right now, but I was um, taking a break watching YouTube, watching Brandy Lee, my girl. And she's talking about, she's talking about, um, um, the title of the video is Stop Chasing Him. He's not the one. So basically, if you're dating a guy and you find yourself having to chase him or initiate conversation, well, not conversation, but initiate the date, initiate communication all the time or most of the time, then he's not into you. He's not the one. Um, and basically saying like, if a guy likes you, like what I was saying, I said this before, if a guy likes you, is into you, you will know. You won't have to question it. It won't be confusing. Like you literally always know in your spirit when someone likes you, whether it's a guy a friend, anyone in general, we always know in our spirit when someone likes us. But when it comes to guys and dating, I swear we just make so many excuses for, for, for men. I mean, for grown men. And I just was sitting here reflecting and thinking just about the situations that I've been in in the past or the doubt that I've kind of felt in the past when it comes to guys and them pursuing me. And I mean, I'm 23 and I can honestly say I've never had a guy pursue me. You know, I've never been in a relationship. I, I've said that before. But it just really got me thinking about how we really have to change. We really have to work on our self-esteem and our confidence as women. If you want to step into the dating dating world, if you want to start dating, you cannot be insecure. You cannot be weak. You cannot have low self-esteem. It's important for you to do the work on yourself before you want to start dating. Because I realized, like Brittany was just saying, okay, if the if the guy is not like calling you, texting you, answering when you call, checking on you he doesn't like you and i kind of thought to myself i think i have a problem with that like i have a problem accepting that some guys just aren't gonna like you and it's it it can really that can be hard to accept when you struggle with that when you struggle with self-esteem when you struggle with being accepted and with people liking you that can be hard to to, to accept that like some people just aren't gonna like you and actually most people aren't gonna like you most guys that you meet aren't gonna like you and that is not a bad thing it's not because you're not enough it's not because you're not beautiful it's not because you're not amazing that's not why they don't like you they don't like you because of them it's something that they have going on something that it's, it's, it's about it's about them it's not about you and, and you also have to remember, you don't want to be liked by everyone. If everyone that you dated, everyone that you met, they liked you, that which is, that's not human. But it wouldn't make sense. That doesn't make, that's not logical for everyone that you meet or that you date to just like you and be pursuing you. If that's the case, you, you're not setting yourself apart enough. You're not unique enough. You're not different enough. You don't, your standards aren't high enough. When you have standards and boundaries and you're different and unique, yeah. Most people are going to get filtered out of that. Most people, that's why it's such a beautiful and amazing thing when you do finally meet that one person that appreciates your value, appreciates how amazing you are. And a lot of times the people that, it's just, when it, when a lot of these guys like don't like you, it, it's just not because of you, okay? It's not you, it's them. It's, it's them not being mature. It's them um, just not being able to appreciate you. And... You, you got to just remember, like I was saying before, that this is, a, is all about, it's all about spirit. It's, it's all about a spiritual journey. Remember that it's who, it really shouldn't even matter who likes you and who doesn't. You have to remember that, who, you have to remember the relationship that you have with God. And you have to trust that the people that God is bringing into your life, like, look at it like this. If you're, if you're dating a guy, you meet a guy, you're confused about, like those are all signs, like the fact that you maybe are confused about how the guy feels about you or that he's not pursuing you. Take that, that is God showing you that this person is not for you. So boom, you just, you learned a lesson. You, you have an advantage now. You're benefited now because you know that this person is not for you. God showed you that and you can move on. And that's also why it's important to when you're dating as women, and, and I know I got to like really make this personal to me because I'm starting to learn the type of person I am very, I don't mind being vulnerable. I don't mind being transparent. You guys, obviously, I am just a great conversationalist. I love studying other humans. I like opening up because it's something that I never really did growing up. I was kind of shy, but now that I'm starting to learn who I am, I enjoy opening up. 
and just connecting with people and just it's just a great thing but and I just have a good spirit you know I'm an optimistic just a good hearted person and dang I lost track of my thought but no so with that it can be I mean when you're just flowing like if you meet a guy you guys I, I mean like if you meet a guy and I'm not really big on physical attraction you know I don't I have like a physical type of guy that I'm into which is if you look good you look good but you know with all with me bringing all that to the table we can people like me who have good hearts who that doesn't mean that everyone you meet will have your heart and that's what I learned yesterday but it can be easy for us to like like people that we meet we're like oh cool like this is great great conversation great and I also noticed too you gotta remember like it doesn't matter how good the conversation was how good the date was I, live in the moment have a great time but just take that moment for what it is because I think a lot of times from the women if we, if we go on a date we can be like oh my gosh in our mind we're thinking that was such a great date you know uh we're gonna be together just start rushing into things mentally rushing and he probably is dating other people you're not the only person he's dating he's probably dating other people probably was not even really being truly himself and genuine and authentic. I mean, think about that too. Probably wasn't, you know, if he's not confident in himself. And so don't be so quick to just like, oh my gosh, I like this person. Oh my gosh, I like this person. No, you shouldn't be, you can have a good date. You can have a good vibe, a good chemistry, but that's not determining that I like you. I need, if, I, if I'm going to say that, we need to make sure that we're really vetting people before we say and commit to say we like them. What am I liking? I don't really know you. We had a hour to two hour long date. So ladies, be careful. Move slowly when it comes to dating. Really, I feel like you really just gotta, you really just gotta take everything with a grain of salt and remember who you are. And just remember, look, and this is the quote from Brainy. She just said, um, faith, what was it? Faith doesn't. Here we go. Let me go back to the, to the quote that she just said. This is what I want to talk about in this video. Do not chase a guy that pulls back. Do not chase a guy that is not chasing you. Why? Because faith doesn't worry. Yeah. And value. Faith doesn't worry and value doesn't beg. Guys, I mean, women, you guys are valuable, beautiful, amazing women. It, it shouldn't be hard for someone to see that. That's all I'm trying to get people to understand. It shouldn't. It's not like, oh my gosh, like, I can't tell if she's amazing. I can't tell. I can't tell then you're not the one <laughs> i have value do you can you is it hard for you to tell if a diamond ring has value no because it's there and you see it and you know it for sure and that's how the one for you needs to be feeling about you value doesn't beg faith doesn't worry you need to have faith and be, have confidence that someone for the man for you will pursue you he will it just will be simple he will that's the one for you if he's not pursuing you he's not for you he and 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 you don't deserve a guy that's not willing to pursue you anyone that that you had that you had to chase that you had to you know communicate with wh why do you get to be with me <laughs> that defeats the whole purpose so remember you're unique you're not Everyone is not meant to like you. Everyone is not even blessed with the eyes to like you. A lot of times you need to be happy that that person doesn't like you because in the moment you may be like, dang, I really thought that we were cool. I really thought he was the one I really thought. No, throw that away because you're not realizing who that person really is. And like I said, you need to be happy that God showed you and removed that person from your life, removed that idea from your life of you being with that person like, you got to just take it as like, take it as like a blessing. It really is a blessing. This whole, everything that you're going through, dating, life, it's all about, you got to remember where does your journey with God fit in and, and like having that discernment and figuring out what is God really trying to show you. So I hope that was clear. Don't ever question your worth either just because someone is not like pursuing you or something. That, 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 that's their problem, guys. Uh, remember who you are. Um. Okay, that is all. I have to go. I hope y'all learned something.